people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz Weber and today we are talking all things baby registry, the ultimate guide to newborn must-haves for 2022. Now I am a new mom. I'm a first time mom to my three month old Emerson. She's actually about to be four months in a couple weeks and it just blows my mind again how fast things happen. I know everybody says that but it's really true. It does happen so fast. Now during my pregnancy since it was my first I felt extremely lost especially when it came to the registry side of things. What you actually need. What are the things that are excessive. So today we're going to break down the things that we are actually using and these are also things that have been recommended to me from other moms. So I feel like they are tried and true products that are actually worth putting on your registry. Having a baby for the first time feels like the ultimate test of like there's just so much to study. There's so much I had to learn about pregnancy and labor and delivery and then like what to actually have for a newborn, what's important. It literally just feels like the biggest study session ever and it's an overload of information. So I really do hope that this helps you to build out your registry or if you're looking for a gift for an expecting mother, hopefully this will also be helpful for that for stuff that's actually useful that they will actually need. Now I am going to break this video down into multiple different categories like transportation, places to put the baby, feeding, changing, all those different categories and I will have those down below with the timestamps so that way if you're looking for something very specific like a specific category, you can just go ahead and skip on to that category. Okay, I have everything right here on my phone listed out. I spent last night kind of like looking through everything that we truly do use and even asking my husband, I was like, okay, what am I missing? And he actually did help me add on a few things. So I have everything listed out here. So let's go ahead and just run through it. I'm going to try to go through it extremely fast. I'll put pictures up on the screen or maybe some B-roll of the actual items, but everything will also be listed down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into newborn must-haves and the ultimate baby registry. Now the first category we're going to talk through is changing. So this includes diapers, wipes, just all that type of stuff. Us personally, we were not in newborns very long. My daughter was about seven pounds, 11 ounces at birth, and she grew out of those newborns pretty fast. And she is again about 15 weeks right now, and she is already in size two. But we have tried a couple different diaper brands, and we personally love the Huggies little snugglers. These are just the best. These diapers have saved us so many times from blowouts, which to me is just the ultimate test. So I really love these and we also love the Huggies wipes as well. But adding diapers to your registry is definitely a must have and I would register maybe for more of the size one or twos because you won't be in those newborns very long. But wipes you will always use so registering for wipes is definitely helpful. Next thing in the changing category, it's this little bum co spatula. We do have an on the go one as well. And I'm gonna be honest with you, we don't use this as much as we did early on, but in the early stages, their skin is so sensitive. So she was getting diaper rash a lot easier than she is now. So we use this a ton to actually put the diaper rash cream on and then kind of like spatula it on her butt. It just feels so much cleaner than using your fingers. And we really did use this all the time. Next thing is a portable changing pad. We love this one that I will insert a photo of right here. This one is incredible. It is from Amazon. It has a place for diapers and for wipes and then even like toys and stuff like you can store a lot and it does fold up into itself. Now funny enough we actually use this downstairs in our living space as our changing pad so we don't have an additional changing pad down there. We just have this kind of like rolled out in my office and I personally love it because at nighttime we do like a whole reset and I always just kind of like fold this back up put it in the corner of the room and then bring it out in the morning. But if we were to go on a long road trip or if we're out for a long period of time, I also can bring this with me and it's just so convenient. The next thing that I will actually just grab right here is her changing pad. So this one is also from Amazon and it's a little basket one with this insert and it is so comfortable. Like this feels like memory foam. We do add little like puppy pad liners sometimes on there so that way if she does pee while we are changing her, it doesn't get on that. But it has gotten on that little cover before too and all you do is just throw it in the wash super easy to clean. Another item that I have right here on her little changing table slash dresser is this little snot sucker. This is from the Freedom Mom Basics Kit, I believe. Um, that is an awesome kit because there's just so many things like even like a nail filer and a little like head scrubber and stuff. Great for newborn. Snot sucker is awesome. You literally stick it in their nose, you blow in it, and it has a filter so that way no snot is getting in your mouth or anything, but it does just get it out super nicely. So this is just good to have on hand. I also am addicted to getting, this is so gross, I'm addicted to getting her little like boogers out of her nose and there's this little, it's called Oogie Bear and it's like a little nose picker, but it doesn't like hurt them whenever you do it. You just kind of like stick it up in their nose and get it out. It sounds so weird. I'll insert a photo, but it is seriously the best thing ever. 
this was one of those items that I got after we had the baby, so it wasn't on my registry, but I highly would recommend it. Now moving on to places to put the baby, which sounds kind of weird, but whenever you have a newborn and you just need to set them down somewhere, there are so many different options and I didn't think we would actually use all of them, but we really, really did slash still do. So the first one that we used a ton, I actually have right here with me, is the Docatot. The Snuggle Me Organic I heard is great too. It's a little bit cheaper, but this one I love because it can extend. It has this right here that you can open up up. and our daughter is extremely tall like she's in the 90th percentile so she already is kind of growing out of this um so whenever we lay her down we can open this up and that way her legs aren't getting all like bent up in here but this thing is great we literally would like set it on the table and put her in it when she was a newborn you know she's not going to go anywhere they're not rolling or anything so this was just nice to have a place to set her that i knew she'd be safe and comfortable now my number one item and place to sit the baby would be a Baby Bjorn bouncer. I've actually tried another bouncer and I just didn't love it. The quality wasn't as great, but the Baby Bjorn one, again, I know it's a higher ticket item, but it's a great item to put on your registry because we still use that every single day, multiple times a day. And I even added this little toy bar to it and she plays with it all the time and it like keeps her so busy. So basically our routine right now is while I get ready, I set her in the Baby Bjorn bouncer. I bounce her while I like do my makeup and she's so entertained so content but the baby or bouncer will seriously calm her down so much too if she's freaking out I'll set her in that and we'll bounce her away and she's so happy automatically it does seem silly that it's so expensive and it doesn't even bounce on its own but it is just made out of incredible material that's so comfortable for them to lounge in and honestly I don't mind bouncing her like while I'm getting ready it's kind of second nature now and she just always like looks up at me getting ready and like plays it seems so simple but for whatever reason, it just works. So I would highly recommend the Baby Bjorn Bouncer, adding it to your registry, it's just the best. Another item that I absolutely swear by that is a must have is the Love Every Play Mat. We did have another play mat and she liked it, but she's way more engaged with the Love Everyone because there's little slots on the top that you can put contrast cards, there's like a mirror feature, and I also see her using this a lot as she's getting bigger and developing more. There's just a lot more to the Love Every Mat than the other play mat that we had. The other play mat was very aesthetically pleasing, but I just feel like she was kind of bored on it, and I do see her using the Love Everyone like as she gets older. There's just so much more to do on it. Now, as far as baby carriers go, we don't typically carry her that much, to be honest. And I don't know if this will change as she gets older, but whenever she was a little bit smaller, and even now sometimes, we will use the Solly Baby Wrap. So some sort of carrier, I like the wrap ones, and it wasn't too hard for me to learn. I think a lot of people are like, intimidated by it because it seems like it's going to be really difficult but honestly after I watched the video I got it down like the second time so super easy to use and I genuinely love it. Moving on to transportation so this is where you got your strollers, your car seats, just all that type of stuff, diaper bag. For transportation we actually have two strollers. We were gifted the Mockingbird stroller and then also the Up a Baby Vista. I do have over on my Instagram and TikTok a comparison video that I will link down below if you guys are interested in both of those strollers because the Mockingbird truly is an amazing dupe for the Vista. Um, and so that video will show you the differences, show you the pros and cons of both, but we genuinely love both. So right now we have the Mockingbird in our garage and we use it for our daily walks. And then we have the Vista in our car, like in the trunk. So that way we just always have it in there and we use that whenever we're out and about. Now, of course you do not need two strollers. We just happen to be gifted both of them. So that's why we have them. But if you had to get one, I would recommend honestly both of them depending on your budget. They are both amazing strollers. Now for car seats, we have the Nuna Pippa Lite, so we do have the adapters for both the strollers, so that way you can easily click it on, and it's just so convenient to do so. I honestly love it. The car seat itself is so lightweight. I'm honestly dreading whenever she grows out of that one because I'm gonna miss how lightweight it is. We have loved it so far, and I have no complaints. In the car, we do have a jumbo car mirror, and this one is from Amazon, so it's super simple. I did have on my registry one of those video camera models. On the car, you have the screen, and then in the back, you have the video camera facing the baby. But for whatever reason, it just seems like a lot of cords in the car, and it seems like it'd be hard to set up. Might be worth it. If you have it, comment down below if you love it. I'm honestly happy with the mirror that we have. It's a great size, and I can always see her in it. 
Another transportation item is a diaper bag. I have two freshly picked diaper bags. I have the original, I think it's called the Classic, and then I have the Classic City Mini, I think is what it's called. I have one in the color Fig and one in the color Black, and I love these diaper bags. Honestly, I use the mini one even more than the big one. The big one's great if Emmy's going over to her grandparents for the night or something, but on a day-to-day -day basis, the mini fits a ton. The pocket's on the inside, it has an insulated pocket, and in the diaper bag, we typically carry diapers, white, um, a change of clothes for her, a little changing pad that folds up that came with the bigger freshly picked bag, um, and then a little like diaper bag dispenser so that way whenever we have like big blowout diapers we just put it in these little trash bags that it's super portable and then that way I can toss it away and it's not super stinky. And we usually keep like a couple extra pacifiers. She personally loves the Advent ones. As far as pacifiers go, I wish I hadn't bought as many as I did beforehand because I bought all those super cute ones and she really only ever used is these Avent ones that are just super basic. The last thing I have on my transportation list is the Shusher. Now this thing I thought was so stupid. I did not register for it and I actually ended up getting the app because she was freaking out one day and I didn't have a sound machine. This is what the app looks like and you just press this. So I found myself using this app a ton and what was happening is she would be freaking out in the back of the car, I would turn this on, toss my phone back there so that way it was loud enough for her to hear and then I wouldn't have my phone but she would end up falling asleep. So I realized let me just go ahead and get the actual shusher so that way I'm not always having to use my phone even though it was convenient. Having the shusher itself is actually really nice, it even has a timer on it so that is something that I do wish I had registered for that I did not. Moving on to clothing, people always ask me over on Instagram how many newborn pieces of clothing or like zero to three months do I need? I wish I had bought a lot less newborn and I know mom's always told me that but I got so excited <laughs> to just get her those newborn items but I wish I'd only bought about five newborn like double zipper onesies maybe seven um, so that way I would do a little bit less laundry but she truly was only in the newborns for about three weeks and those three weeks go by so fast and that really was about all she was wearing so obviously depending on the time of year I would recommend the double zipper footies so that way you can use them at night and we use those during the day because it wasn't super hot during the day but if you do have like a summer or late spring baby even just like the little short sleeve onesies those are great if you want to get like a pack of white ones or even some like you know cute ones but only get about five I think that's probably about how many you'll need to use and then if you do end up having a smaller baby you can always order more you can always Amazon Prime things but I truly think starting out with about like five to seven newborn onesies and like footies is gonna be a good starting place. So for your baby registry, I would recommend putting zero to three month clothing or even three to six month on there just because it does go by so fast. And I feel like we got out a lot more and I wanted to dress her a lot more whenever she was closer to the three months than whenever she was a newborn. Moving on to her nursery, which we are in right now. Now these are of course some bigger ticketed items, but items that I truly recommend. And then even just things to add to your checklist, even if you don't get these exact items, of course, like adding a crib and a glider and all that stuff is gonna be important. So for us, we got the Baby Leto Hudson crib. This is the three-in-one crib, so it can turn into a toddler bed as well. We love it, no complaints. I love the way it looks. And we paired the Newton mattress with it. This is great because it is super breathable. You've probably heard about it, but if your baby is like on their stomach, it's supposed to be super safe for them so that way they can breathe through it. And like Zach and I have tested it out and it is super breathable. So if you're looking for a mattress to add to your registry, I would recommend the Newton one. And again, the Baby Leto Hudson crib we love. The next item is another big ticket item, but some sort of glider or rocker. We love the Carter's Arlo, I believe it's called. Again, it will be linked down below and I'll put a picture of it here. But this glider is so comfortable. It's comfortable for my husband too. He's about six foot, I'm about five four. So as far as like the size of it, it works for both of us. And it does have a recliner as well. And it just rocks so smoothly and I love it. Like I'm in here a lot, especially in the middle of the night. And it's just comfortable, like her and I I feel like can both curl up in it too and it's just it's a good glider very happy with it now anytime I ask moms over on Instagram what their number one baby registry item is they always say the hatch sound machine and I can back that up I genuinely love this thing I love that it has an app it can change the color of it it's a nightlight and a sound machine there is one that also has a clock on it I'll link that down below as well this is something we seriously use every single day and I love that it just has a bunch of different options too so that way you can test out different sounds for your baby 
I personally love the ocean sound. It's just like super calming and it is loud enough so that way it does drown out. Like if we're outside, she cannot hear us. This is something that even whenever we travel, I do see myself actually packing this because I could use a portable sound machine, but I like that this has the nightlight on it as well because it's so soft that way. If I have to turn it on in the middle of the night, it's not gonna wake her up and that is very important. Another item we have in our nursery is this gold cart from Amazon. I would definitely recommend adding a cart to your registry. Early on, whenever she was sleeping in our room, I had this cart in our room with like diapers and just like stuff for me for breastfeeding as well and like extra wipes, extra clothes, swaddles, all that type of stuff. And it's just super convenient to be able to move around from room to room. Like now that she's not in our room, I have it next to the glider. So that way in the middle of the night, I have her like extra pacifiers there. I have burp cloths. I have everything right next to me and it's just super convenient. Let's talk about baby monitors. So I had the Mickey one to start and it was beautiful, very expensive, but it was a Wi-Fi monitor and our Wi-Fi upstairs is just not great. And I didn't like that I had to use my phone to see her because I use my phone for work every single day. I didn't wanna to have to have my phone up to keep an eye on her and I loved the idea of having an additional screen. So got rid of that one and we got the Infant Optics Pro. Now I've heard not so great things about the Infant Optics one, the original one, but the Pro version is incredible. We've been using it now for three months. I have no complaints at all. It has great night vision on. It also doesn't play the sound machine on here. Like I can't hear that. Like it eliminates that and it only picks up her crying, which is really nice. That way when I have it on, I'm not constantly listening to the sound machine. It's not super loud. I just truly have no complaints about this monitor. I love the screen size. I love the night mode vision on it. It's just, it's a great monitor. It's super simple. I would definitely recommend putting this on your registry. One thing I wish I'd put more of on my registry is burp cloths. We use so many burp cloths and I knew that we would, but I just, I don't know, like you can never have enough. And the specific ones that I love are the muslin ones. There's a pack on Amazon. It's actually really affordable, but this is something that I'm continuously buying because I'm realizing like, oh my gosh, we have a ton in our diaper bag, in the car, upstairs, downstairs, like they're just everywhere. And I feel like I always lose track of them. So it's just nice to have a lot of them. The pack that I will link down below is our favorite. The last section is for bath time. So there are a few items that we absolutely love for bath time that I would highly recommend to a new mom. And the first one is the Angel Care bathtub. This is just so easy to use. All that it has a perforated bag so that way the water can go through it. Honestly, it's just super simple. She sits well in it. She seems really comfortable. So I'm glad we got this, especially so that way we're not having to like hold her in the bathtub. You definitely want to have something to set your baby in. And this is one that works really well for us. I also swear by the Tubby Todd line. So we do use the shampoo, the lotion, and the all over ointment. And the all over ointment worked wonders on her baby acne. She had a lot on her face whenever she was born until about like four weeks. And we would put the all over ointment on her face at night and it cleared it right up. So I swear by that stuff. And she does get dry patches and both the lotion and the ointment both really seem to help with that. Last thing is the Amazon electric nail filer. This girl's nails are so long and whenever she's breastfeeding, she will scratch me, she'll scratch herself. The nail file comes with a bunch of different tops with different roughness and it does not hurt when it touches their skin. So as a new mom, you know, you're kind of scared. Like you don't wanna, I cannot imagine taking like a little nail clipper and clipping her tiny, tiny nails. I'd be so afraid of cutting her. So this product takes away that fear because I have literally tried it on myself, Zach has as well, and it does not hurt at all. It doesn't feel like anything if it rubs against her skin and it does end up filing her nails down really, really well. So we use this like a couple times a week. Okay, I know that that is a lot of products. This video is probably so long. I tried to speed through it so that way it wouldn't be super long, but hopefully this was helpful for you guys. And if you have a favorite baby item that I did not mention that is your go-to must-have product, comment down below so that way we can see what other moms love as well. Because again, I'm a new mom so I'm still learning and there's gonna be so many products like as she gets older like high chair and more toys and all this stuff that we're definitely gonna be adding to our collection so if you have a must-have comment down below I will definitely be checking it out hopefully there are some products in this video that maybe you didn't think of before that now you can add to your registry or maybe you have all this on your registry and it was just a good confirmation that you have what you need either way I hope that you found this helpful if you did please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel we plan on doing so many more vlogs I plan on doing with my husband as well with our baby and just showing like day-to-day -day life as new parents so definitely follow along and to see more daily content follow along on instagram and tiktok and that wraps up so i will see you guys on the next one bye